Hello everyone. Today I have it another automation script for Flutter projects. And this script automatically sets up everything that is required to sign and generate release APK for your Flutter Android apps. In order to demonstrate this script, I'm using the same automation test project that I created in my previous tutorial for Firebase authentication automation. So let us first see the script in action and then I'll show you how it works. So this asks for the key store ES. Let me just name it test and let me create a key store password. So first and last name and let me use a bogus details test 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 tt yes same as key store password okay so now we can see the changes what changes the script made first it creates a key store file inside keys folder if we see here here we have a keys folder and inside that there, there is a key store that saves all our signing key details and then it creates a key dot properties file with a store password key password key alias and a store file path to a store file the only thing you need to do is change your store password and key password as you set in your key store and finally in the build.gradle file it adds all the required settings that loads the keys from key store files and then creates a signing config and assigns that signing config to release bear types. So finally we can build our Flutter app with Flutter build apk command. So this should use our release config and build a release apk for our Flutter application. Here we go. It has successfully built our release apk. Let us now see how the script works. There are two parts to this Android signing script. The first one is the bash function that I have created and named f and sign that is flutter android sign so this reads the key alias from you it makes a directory called keys inside your flutter project then it uses the key tool to generate the key store file then finally it runs the android signing python script with key alias as first argument so let us see what the script does so if we see the main function here it calls create key properties with key alias taken from systems argument that we passed to the passed while running the script file and then it calls configure build config so first create key properties it creates a key dot properties file with all the details that we have seen before and it configures the build config and places all the required settings inside that file so this is how the script works and if you are on windows if you can't create a bash function you can simply run this script with key alias as its argument it does all the setting you just have to do is run the key tool and plus keystore.jks file inside keys folder in your Flutter project to get the to be able to build release apk for your android app. Thank you everyone for watching this video.